Peace, if you're willing to fight for it, and welcome to Make It Plain, the people's talk thing. Hey, with your brothers Amari and some more. Say what's up to the people some more. Revolutionary love, black people, and you beautiful black people. Revolutionary love to you. you That's hear me? right. I said it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We're back with another episode. Um, my brother, how are you, man? You doing all right? You know, I'm doing absolutely calafrist. Yeah, I'm doing nice. Yeah, I'm doing nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Listen, uh, yo, so... The, so Few folks been hitting us up, man. It's right, actually right. quite touching, man. They wanted us to to do a review of mm-hmm. uh, what, what's your boy name? Chris Rock. Chris Rock, yeah. Uh, yeah film yeah, Good yeah. Help. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good mm-hmm. Help. Mm-hmm. She got that good help. That's right. Um, but unfortunately, it hasn't been released in New Orleans yet. But never fret. Next week, we are gonna be back with a review, a Cisco and Eva style review. That's right. Two That's thumbs right. up, That's two right. thumbs down. That's whatever. Right. You know, fist up, fist down. Yeah. Something. You know, we gonna make up something. We gonna make up something. Yeah. But in the meantime, what we got for them? Yo, we we took a little trip. Mm-hmm. Right, right to Atlanta ATL. for for a happily natural day. That's right. What a beautiful. You day. gotta say it like that. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Man, it was so some beautiful African women out there. Yeah, they had good hair. They had definitely that had good, good African hair. That's right. You know All kind of African in their family. Yes, sir. The way it should be. That's right. Yes. <laughs> So anyway, man, so we did a few <laughs> interviews with folks. Right. Um, and yo, shout out to the people who put it on. This was the first mm-hmm. time it's been in Atlanta. And right, it's right. been in Richmond for a few years. They That's brought right. it down to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, so we hope y'all enjoyed as much as we did. Happily Natural Day, Atlanta. Let's come back next week for a review of Good Hair. We started off doing Happily Natural Day in 2003. This is our seventh year. Uh, you know, we've been doing it in Richmond for so long, the capital of the Confederacy. Um, the whole movement is about loving yourself. I mean, that's the core essence about it. Events like this are important because um, it's a celebration and a reminder of who and what we are, at least in the, um, the physical embodiment. Uh, I think it allows for us on this side of the water to continue that connection to our culture that might have been lost to the slave slave trade. And it's an important um, event for our people, and it's important for us to come together and celebrate, you know, our culture. You know, and you reach out to people, and uh, you know, it's all about unity. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that's what we're here. You know, to come together. You know, uh, forget about all the other BS, and you know, just come together and. Um, for you know, good causes and you know, that you reach out. This is family, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. We started off saying like, it's too many brothers and sisters out here that got natural hair and it's just for like a look, right, right, right. you know? And we say, all right, let's take it to another level. Let's bring them into a space where they think that it's all about, you know, I'm gonna learn how to retwist my locks or how to style my hair or just to want to go natural. But once you get there, we're gonna take you through the phases, hit you with Professor Griff. Phil Valentine, hit you with Dr. Africa, hit you with Neely Fuller, you know. These are some of the people that have spoken at previous years of Happily Natural Day. And when you release yourself from chemicals and uh, just things that tie you down, wanting to be a certain way that you're not, um, it ties you down. When I originally went natural, people thought that I had something wrong with me or I had a big change, you know. Dr. York explains when you look out into nature, what do you see? Do you see an afro or do you see a perm? You see an afro. Natural hair is strong hair. Chemicals, straightness, they weaken the hair. It creates a weak psychic, mental, spiritual, and even physical body. You know, stop looking or thinking about what would I look like or, you know, what would somebody say. You know, you, you were made in this image, and it's beautiful. So just do it. When a lot of our sisters uh, change how they've been born and and what the natural gifts that the creator creators have blessed them with they kind of they kind of slapping the the creators in the face and saying you know i ain't satisfied what you give me the reality is that you you diminish yourself you black women diminish themselves by trying to look uh like a european for sisters to know that an autopsy done on a sister with a chemical relaxer she has a blue film on the top of a crown, which symbolizes the uh, fogginess or the um, inability to think clearly from the crown chakra, which is our connection with the ancestors, with the sun, with the environment, with with our own, uh, along with our intuition. And any black man, let me just say, make it plain, make any it plain. black man that would, would allow for that black woman to walk around with straight hair in 2009, he not a real man. He not he not a real man. Straight up. I mean, we don't got time to be playing these games. Before I cut it, 
it, it had stopped here and it was at this level for maybe like four years. Same place, you know, it didn't grow one inch, none of that. So when I cut it off, it just came like two years later, poof. A lot of hair, yeah. I was bald a year ago, like literally bald, like no hair, not even an inch. Came back. I would turn, take my hair on my doobie wrap, freshly permed, and strands of hair would just be falling to the floor. This was on a daily basis. I went hard, cut it all off. Look how long and beautiful my hair is. Did you see it? One more time. One more time. Okay, Al. Okay, thank you. Look, well, not to say how somebody looks totally, of course, but as uh, my brother Irritated Genie said in one of his uh, tapes, he said, I can tell what's in your head by what's on top of your head. Something about a natural woman, it just touches your soul, it touches your bone, it touches your heart. It's not the superficial look that has been given by media and televised vision of what beauty is. So um, until we come into our natural selves, our nature self, then we will um, not be connected to all that is, we will be lost. And plus I just love it, it's easy to manage and it looks good. <laughs> that and just do it go for it you're beautiful natural is better we are the only beings on this planet with hair like ours other than sheep who are the chosen the lost sheep mm. not the goats let's get it right planet has an afro keep it natural keep it nappy and get your heart clean and love each other oh check out happilynaturalday.com stay tuned to ftpmovement.ning.com you know the organizations here black august organizing committee you know we're here it is real and a natural black woman man ain't nothing I'm telling you boy <laughs> Ooh, don't, they don't show that part much love the sons of malcolm sons of malcolm that's right <laughs> <laughs> bro appreciate it man